The Rocky Horror Picture Show will be shown in digital for the first time at a movie theater in Michigan. I'm Jorge Avellan. That story coming up next. My TV 20 News at Your news continues on My TV 20 News at 10. It's a classic that keeps entertaining generation after generation. The Rocky Horror Picture Show will once again leave its mark in Metro Detroit. My TV 20's Jorge Avian tells us what it's all about. The Rocky Horror Picture Show is back in Metro Detroit. Cast members are rehearsing for two big shows later this month at the historic State Wayne Theater in Wayne. For the first time in Michigan, the film will be shown in an all-digital presentation. Members from the Michigan Rocky Horror Preservation Society will help bring the movie to life. We have a cast that performs along with the show. Uh, we also have what are known as Transylvanians, and they'll be performing um, in the audience and on stage. Uh, a lot of the cast will actually be going, going back and forth. Rob Hubbard co-executive produces the show with his wife, Faith. He's been performing in Rocky Horror Show since 1977. This veteran performer is among the few people in Michigan keeping this very popular show alive, even if it means continuing to wear women's clothes. I get a lot of compliments from women about my legs because a lot of people, a lot of women think my legs look better than, than most women's legs. So, um... So you're doing okay then? Yeah, I'm doing fine, yeah. If you've never been to a Rocky Horror Show before, it features everything from extravagant costumes and dances, such as the famous Time Warp featured in the original 1975 film. The movie is a spoof of science fiction and horror films from the 1940s through the late 1960s. The Time Warp is the big dance number from Rocky Horror Picture Show. Everybody knows it. It's jump to the left, step to the right, and so on. Um, it's fun, it gets the whole audience to get up and dance around. And you don't have to feel nervous about attending one of the shows. We will have a person, Trixie, who will be up on the stage and she'll let everybody know what to do. So if nobody um, has done it before, there's, we have a guide that lets everybody know what, what to do. This production is expected to open doors for other classic films that have played a major role in the world of cinema. There are a lot of pictures out there that we used to play on a regular basis and we're looking around actively for more midnight shows and, and certainly children's shows and things that we can play, particularly at the State Wayne. I think it lends itself very well to uh, revival films and, and things of this nature. You could see the show for yourself on May 10th and 11th. For my TV 20 News at 10, Jorge Avellan. The State Wayne Theater is also looking into the possibility of showing the Rocky Horror Picture Show monthly at midnight during the summer. And remember, it is always encouraged to dress up and have fun at those screenings. 